I wasn't brought up in a Christianity family nor any Western culture related education. In the past, I always had problems expressing my feelings to others, typically to my families and friends. To me, learning how to say I love you is way too difficult. I would rather do a half marathon without any complaint, but not saying those three little words. In my childhood, I was taught to must control my emotions and feelings, never ever show it to anyone else or people who spot on my weakness and then take advantage of me. Because in Asian culture, having the ability to control your emotions and feelings means that you are virtual. But growing up, I wasn't happy at all because I suppressed myself too much and I had missed out a lot. Over the years, there was a huge missing gap in the communication between my family and me. We do talk to each other, but our relationships was never close nor authentic at all. I had so many regrets when I didn't know how to express my feelings to my loved one. When I realized it, it was too late. I had lost the chance to mend the situation when it could be better if I know what to do. With this Mother's Day, I would like to take a chance to give a massive shout out to two incredible women in my life. The first woman is my late grandma. She isn't only a grandmother to me, also my mother and father when my parents were absent from me. To me, she is the most powerful woman in the world. I remember my heart was so broken when I witnessed how she suffered dying from cancer, pains all over her body. But I didn't tell her how much I loved her when she was alive until I completely lost the chance forever. It is all because of my stupid pride and ego stopped me from doing that. I was assumed that my grandma would have known without me telling her the actual words. After all, I regretted it and I felt sorry for myself because of my stupidity. Don't you, Papa? I love you. I love you. I love Here's the second incredible woman who is my mom. I know she's watching my stuff and she is the biggest fan of mine. When I was a child, I never understand the world of being an adult. I didn't know how a divorcing mom like her had suffered so much in the past. Instead, I blamed her for a lot and I had no sense of gratitude at all. I was ashamed of myself until I know what divorce is as how going through the grieving process is a massive thing. When I was young, I always told my mom that she never understand my needs. Actually, I don't understand what she needs to, because she never tells me. I have completely forgotten that she is a woman who needs love too. She was once young and vibrant, and a beautiful lady who had dreams and visions too, but she had to give up all just for the children. Mama, I want to apologize for my stupidity and immature behaviors in the past that I might have hurt you very badly. I'm not a mother yet myself, and I can't claim that I know 100% how a great mom should be. But I'm getting to know you better and I'm feeling so proud of you as my mom. You are always incredible and amazing. Thank you so much for being my super wonderful mom. I love who you are and I love the way you are. Love you, love you, love you, love you. <laughs> love you mom. Happy Mother's Day to you, my beautiful mom. Happy Mother's Day to every gorgeous mother in the world. You shine, you rock and you are incredible. Thank you so much for watching it. Please don't forget to like, comment and share my video on your Facebook page. Please feel free to search me on YouTube, Invincible Channel. Click on the subscribe button and hit the bell to turn on all the notifications. I'll see you again all next week. Stay safe and be incredible. Bye. Hey guys, I just would like to do a really quick apologize. Uh, just in case you found my video this week, you might hear a lot of dog barking and my background noise. So, I, yeah, myself, I'm still uh, on a vacation at the moment. It's such incredible and relaxing. And this is beautiful swimming pool at the, at the backyard. And then this neighborhood, they just have too many dogs. Apparently, there are three dogs at the next house, and I have two dogs at the back house. So, I just couldn't, couldn't control the dogs at all. I'm sorry for that. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful, enjoyable, um, happy Mother's Day and a weekend for this week. See you, catch up, bye.